Welcome to my channel, Aligning With My Soul. Um, thank you so much, before I start doing the reading, thank you so much for all your love and support I've been receiving lately. Really do appreciate it, it means the world to me. Um, right, I'm going to do, um, this channel is based on do, kicking into the um, masculine energy. Um, and it's for people that are in some kind of um, separation or challenge with their twin flame. Um, and when I use the term masculine, feminine, him, her, it's just energy, I realise that, it's, and the one that be watching, the viewer that's watching today will be the conscious one, so it's just easier for me to say masculine, feminine, um, just put it into your situation, your circumstances, so don't be offended by me saying that. And um, when I say separation, um, just remember you're not in separation, you're physically you can't see the person or you're not with the person at the moment but you're not separated because you're just the one soul um, so you, you, you're never separated and um, it's just the time that you're not with the person physically it's just preparation so you, when you do come back together everything's sorted out and all the different things and issues um, that you need to deal with are all sorted before you come back together in union so um, and when I say union, really you're in union now because you're one, as I said, so they are you because they're the other half of your soul. So um, I'm going to get um, three cards, actually it's going to be four cards and then I'll get a card for the viewer that's watching and to uplift and, you know, to bring out your divine inner spirit and to keep you focused and help you on your ascension and focus on your spiritual journey. I'll get some um, messages from my little pots here, one about um, the energy that the masculine's in and how he's feeling um, in general towards you and what he would like to communicate with you from this pot if he had the opportunity to and what he's actually saying in the 5D world. So I'm interested to see what the energy's like for the Divine Masculine at the moment to see if there's any movement. Um, in the 3D, for me personally, it's been quite a heavy week. I've been in not a very good energy, um, very negative energy. So it'd be interesting to see what the mask in. In the 5D and, you know, your higher self, you know you know that you, everything is okay. It's just in the 3D, it's really hard sometimes. So I'd be interested to see if you want to leave comments down below how your week's been, how you've been feeling. But lots of things have been coming up for me, so it'd be nice if you shared how your week been, because mine's been really quite tough in the 3D. So, right, God, what is going on with Divine Masculine? How is he feeling? Um, how are you assisting? Has there been any shift? And how is he feeling towards his Divine Feminine? It's quite a short reading as well, because I've got a quite a tight schedule. So, but I wanted to get a video up to see. Now we're at the, at the end of the week. I want to see what masculine energy is up to. Right, what is going on God, with Divine Masculine? How are you assisting him? How is he feeling towards the Divine Feminine? What is he dealing with at the moment? And how are you helping him assist? I'm using my Archangel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. Just one from here. Moon cycles again. That would come up in the last reading. Interesting. Right, now I'm going to get a card, an oracle card from the um, Daily Guidance from Doreen Virtue. What is going on with the Divine Masculine God? How are you assisting him? Where is his energy and how is he feeling towards Divine Feminine?
relationship. And then I'm going to get a message from Archangel Michael. Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. What is going on with Divine Masculine? Where's his energy and how are you assisting him, God? Angels. How is he feeling towards the feminine viewer that's watching me today? Nice, clear message. I'm using Oracle cards at the moment because that's what I'm drawn to use and it just gives a nice, clear message and a nice, just a nice understanding, gentle message, more sincere to me, personally. Right. Eternal love. That's a beautiful card. Right, and then I'll get one more from Ambika Waters Oracle Cards. These are very spiritual, deep, short messages. So God, how is the mind masculine's energy and how are you assisting him and how is he feeling in general towards him? His divine feminine viewer that's watching, nice clear message please. moon cycles which we had in my last reading so the divine masculine is definitely being affected by the moon cycle and we've just got through a full moon on the 9th of March I mean it's now the 13th um, but don't worry if you've just clicked on this video because it is a timeless video and obviously if you clicked on it is there's a message that you do need to hear from it but Anyway, moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifest manifestations and capital capitalises upon these cycles. So, in some way or another, because this came up in the last reading as well, he has been affected by the moon cycles. And for the viewer that's watching today, I would say that that's, a, you know, my intuition is telling me that you're, you've been affected by the, you're affected by the moon cycles as well, because I definitely have this um, full moon that's just gone um, and even when it when it's a new moon and stuff all the different energies that happen um, loads of things come up lots of different emotions come up and um, he's definitely been affected by the moon cy cy um, cycle so the energy he's feeling you know he's got to there's things that have already been brought up for him in these moon cycles um, and when we have the moon cycles it's a really good thing to actually focus on and being aware of different the way you're feeling and different things that are happening different things that you're wanting to manifest um it's a very good time to actually do those things and deal with different things it can be a really sad and painful time as well because things are coming up that you've got to deal with and i would say that this you know the, this particular masculine this group of masculines i'm tapping into their energy is that they have been affected um, they're noticing the effects of the energy and um, God is helping assist him to realize certain things around these times you know the moon cycle so when like I said when you do wake up to the fact that you are affected by these different cycles and you can do things to help yourself and um, you can use it to your advantage for manifestations and things as well and to let go of things the old and bring in the new so he's definitely been affected by the moon cycles and i would say definitely for the viewer that's watching today right relationship your re primary relationship is with yourself and god and every other relationship follows from there to attract heal or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So, my intuition, my feel, feeling that I'm getting is definitely 
this reading is for the person as well that's watching, not just for the masculine. The masculine is going through this as well. Until you actually have a good relationship with yourself and God and open up to God and trust, because we've got the trust card here, um, that's when you will attract and heal and balance the relationship that you're wanting with your um, divine masculine, your twin flame. So this relationship, um, you need to open up and when you can actually feel God's love, turn to God, ask for help from God um, and know that you're safe and God loves you, everything will bloom and prosper and that's what God is working and assisting him with because if he could be going through from what I'm feeling to do with the moon cycles as well is he could be in a quite a very low place, um, very lost and God is showing him that you know until you can actually um, sort yourself out, have the relationship, the most important relationship above all, you know, to, to do with God and yourself. So you need to be able to do that. And when you do that, everything you you know that you're wanting, relationships is on his mind. He's thinking about this relationship with divine feminine. Um, that will blossom. And prosper. Um, it's just he, needs, he just needs to um, trust in God that it's all been taken care of in this relationship he's wanting. Um, it's all, you know it's all planned. It's all in God's plan, and he just needs to have to work on the relationship with himself and to connect with God to have this balance with his divine feminine that he's wanting. Um, but. You know, if you're not seeing anything in the 3D world, that is what God is assisting with and making it come up. Lots of things are coming up for him. Um, so this is for the viewers definitely as well. And, you know, I can resonate with this as well. It's just a reminder, you know, you need to not think about the divine masculine viewer. You need to think about yourself and your ascension, and your spiritual journey. And then when you do that and you can turn to God and know that God is there by your side every second of your life and you can feel the warmth from him and you put all your trust in God you put God first that is when this relationship um, with the masculine sorts itself out but you just need to focus on yourself and that's what the masculine's needing to do at the moment he's having to focus on self-worth and loving himself and having a good relationship with himself and feeling worthy of himself and until you know, he's got to feel worthy of himself and good enough otherwise he's not going to come forward it's nothing's going to change he's going to stay in this stuck energy so i would say that this self-love and um for him to you know the relationship with god is all being brought up by this the, the moon cycles different emotions it could be lots of different emotions very painful emotions that he's dealing with so until he's had got a good relationship with himself, and for the viewer, it's exactly the same. If until you've got a good relationship with yourself and focusing focusing on your ascension, and stop thinking about the physical person, your masculine, um, that's when they come to you anyway. It's about line, aligning with your soul, and that is what I'm trying to do. And that's why I call this channel "Aligning with My Soul," because when you align with your soul. You're zen, you're just being, you're being present all the time. And then when you can do that, that's when it's like a magnet, your twin flame comes to you. So, very powerful reading. And then we've got the beautiful eternal love. Help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. Yeah, this is so perfect. And I can really resonate with this and I needed to um, see this card to help me as well. Um, but the, the masculine is um, needing help. He needs to have help. He could be a masculine that finds it really, really hard to show his feelings. He's never experienced love before in, um, you know, in his childhood or he's never felt safe um, being loved 
he's never experienced love the way he experienced it from his divine feminine and until he can trust and know that it's okay to feel the love from the divine feminine and for him to express his feelings he will stay stuck so God is assisting him and um, this is eternal love this is eternal love so it's so beautiful and um, God is assisting him and when he when he can you know that's why it's saying about the prime relationship is with yourself and God when you can have this good relationship and feel okay and love yourself and just be present and just accept things for what they are and you feel that love and you feel safe because God's there by your side. Um, you know, the masculine could be feeling, you know, scared of receiving love because he's scared of being hurt or from something in the past or his childhood or something. He's not used to receiving love and so he's pushing it away and not expressing, you know, he needs to be reassured that it's okay to express love and he's not going to get hurt. Um, and maybe he, he struggles with the fact that of showing love because he's, he's never done it before. So some, you know, every, lots of people find it easy to show their feelings and to show love. But there are some people that just haven't got a clue how to love because they haven't they haven't experienced it in their childhood or any time in their life. So God is saying this is eternal love. And it's all been, it's God's plan. You will be with this, your divine masculine for the few that's watching. And um, that is how God is assisting masculine. And, you know, this is beautiful for the viewer that you, you see it where it says eternal love. For me, that is amazing to see that card because it's reassurance, you know, you know it's eternal love. So, however you're feeling annoyed angry upset about the fact that you're not with the physical person it is eternal love and you will be with that person if you just concentrate on your essential and your spiritual journey because you it, the, this is you this is the other half you, you know it's your soul you're one so and the last card is trust which says it all which you know you need to be reassured person that's watching and God is assisting him to trust. I trust in the divine power of goodness, love to protect and guide me. God is assisting him to help him trust that everything is divine timing and to trust God and to trust that this situation, this um, that, that could be happening um, to the divine masculine or what's happening to you, that you need to trust and put everything, all of your trust into God and God will take care of it. Don't you try and sort it out. Don't you try and work it out. Don't let your mind get involved. Just concentrate in the present moment, accept it as it is and read the power of now. That's, I you know, I can't get that across enough. Read the power of now by Eckhart Tolle. That will help you stay present and help you understand the spiritual journey more. So start reading that today. And don't just read it the once, read it several, several times until it, you can actually feel a difference, where you feel, you know, where you're starting to feel better. This isn't just about getting back together with your divine masculine, it's about you achieving, about being happy in yourself without anything external from you, just to be have this inner peace. It doesn't matter what's going on, it's just living in the present and coping and being independent and not relying on anything to make you happy. So it's about trust. And again, I think this reading is, you know, the last few readings I've done, it's not just about the masculine energy. This is for the viewer that's watching, is to trust, trust. Trust God. This is all being taken care of and how things are, how they are now. It could be awful, an awful situation you're in. Just trust that you're gonna get through this, trust that this is happening for a reason. Trust that you're learning things from it, you're getting stronger. And yeah, it's eternal love. And the masculine is 
working on his relationship with himself. And when he can do that, he will come back. He will come back a stronger and more sincere and deal, you know, his behaviour will change from what it used to be because he will, he's getting rid of all the different, you know, all the different things that are happening. All these things have been brought up for him for a reason. And when he comes back, you want him to come back as sorted, sorted out, not all this messing about and coming, going, coming, going. You need it all sorted out and um, it could be very painful. You could be, you know, not having no contact or being blocked or, you know, whatever on social media, whatever, but it's all for a reason. You're not supposed to be with this person right now. So just keep trusting, everything will be okay. And um, this message is definitely for me today as well. So I'm going to get a, where the energy is for the masculine. Oh, those two wanted to come out. Divine timing, see? That did want to come out. Healing, yes. A lot of healing is going on at this time from the moon cycles. <clears throat> Divine timing and healing. There's a lot of healing going on, lots of deep stuff. And there could be some awful things that you're seeing or him doing or doing something to really annoy you and bringing some triggers up for you, but just ignore it. That's in the 3D. That's not important. Read the power now and that will help you cope with the things that are triggering you. Right, let's see what message he'd like to communicate with you if he had the opportunity and what he's communicating in the 5D. You're everything I've ever wanted. He knows that you're everything he's ever wanted and he wants to work on himself and he wants to get it right. So when he comes back, he can be everything to you. I'm not messy about, not have all these problems coming backwards and forwards, just be. You've got the power over me. He knows that you've got the power over him because you have got the power over him because whatever energy is going to is from you going to the masculine it's from you because you're the conscious one that's how it works in this twin flame journey so you're everything he's ever wanted and you've got the power he knows that you've got the power over me so and again i said didn't know about reading the power of now. Power, the word power comes up a lot. It's been coming up a lot for me this week as well. So, um, beautiful reading again. And um, I hope this has helped you and uplifted you and made you focus on your spiritual journey and on yourself and working and just um, trusting in God. Um, I'm going to get a message for you to uplift you and to help you keep focused and so <clears throat> it's the reminder cause to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit when you're getting triggered by your divine masculine or whatever's happening you've got to go deep or higher that is the way higher see beyond that it's just an illusion it's not real Feel it and let it go. Don't get drawn into it and mixed up to it and have many, many thoughts and making the situation worse. Right, let's see what card, what is the message today, God, that you'd like the viewer to be watching? To, you know, what is the message for the viewer today that's watching to help them focus on their ascension and what they need to know at the moment? Nice clear message. Surrender. Surrender to this situation. Yes, definitely. I can definitely resonate to this reading. It's unbelievable. And if you if it resonates to you and it's in your situation and you can relate to it. Um, please leave a comment down below um, because I'll be really interested. <laughs> Message. It's now time to stop carrying all these burdens around with you. They are not necessary and it's time to, for you to truly 
free yourself. Surrender all your worries and fears and any illnesses to the divine spirit, both within and without. Action to take. Say these following words as often as necessary throughout the day until you feel peace. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. And the powerful affirmation you can say to yourself is, I surrender all to the divine spirit. So yes, yeah, surrender to this situation. Surrender what's going on in the 3D world. Just hand it over and trust divine timing. When you can surrender, just, you know, your energy will change completely. And don't try and control this situation because it's not down to you. It's not down to the muscle. It's not down to, it's down to God. It's in God's hands and it will happen when it's divine timing, so surrender. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope this has been helpful for you because it's been really helpful for me and um, I'm, glad, I'm really glad I did this reading. Um, I, and thank you so much again for all your support. Um, it really means the world to me and it motivates me to carry on doing this channel. So thank you so much. Um, I'm sending you all lots of love and support and light and I hope you're all coping and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on with the naughty masculine <laughs> in a few days time and um, I'll see you then guys. Take care. Bye.